Hey guys, how is it going? I was just waiting for Hank to stop drinking so that it wouldn't be all floppy. Floppy? Floppy? Uh, <laughs> anyways, dude, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17, about 17 gifts here. Holy crap, thank you very much. I really appreciate everyone who thinks about us and figures that we're worth sending stuff to you. That is awesome, so thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be opening up some gifts today. Let's say hi to some folks. Oh, there's already a bunch of people on, okay. Martha, Lewis, uh, Kathy, Carol, Don, Lindsay, the moderator, thank you for being here, Lindsay. Uh, Kim, Delfina, Linda. Kim Hallman says it's her birthday today. Kim, happy birthday, Kim. I think you sent me something. Uh, Tracy, Linda, uh, JJ, Jody, John, everyone else. Guys, before we start the gift opening. Oh, I ruined this print. There was water there. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's okay. We are having our buy two, get one free sale for my birthday, uh, speaking of birthdays. Um, and it's going to include all of the paper prints. Buy two, get one free. One print is $20, you spend $40, and you get $60 worth of stuff sent anywhere on the planet. Uh, shipping is varied, but you can order by emailing me, order from josh at gmail.com. You can find all of the different prints that are this size piece of paper, uh, all on the My Hands Gallery Facebook page. I appreciate everyone who's done that so far. We sent everyone's off already, so I was sure, I, would, I made sure that I got all the prints that I thought would sell out, and it's a good thing I did, so thank you very much for everyone who's done that. So far, shoe bus is here. Never fear, shoe bus is here. Another thing, remember, look at this floor. You guys see this floor? Right? It looks like uh, crap because it's just the sub floor. And we decided, you, some of you already know this, that we were going to do a, uh, it's not a fundraiser exactly, uh, but I forget what it's called. When you, okay. It's kind of like when you have a bake sale. <laughs> so it is a fundraiser in a sense. You get something in return. There was a lot of fundraiser, says Tracy. I like that. Um, we are releasing a new product. Product? Is it a product? I don't know if it's a product. Um, a new thing. Merch. A new, yeah, a new set of merch that is, um, uh, was requested by you guys. Not exactly how you requested, but kind of my spin on it. A lot of you asked for postcards with my art on it. I'm not going to put my art on postcards, at least not my paintings, because unfortunately, the way the art world works often, at least in my freaking experience, is Stuff like that devalues the art. Even prints like this can devalue art, but I do it in such a way that it seems to not matter. So I'm not gonna put my art on postcards, but we are releasing a set of seven postcards and they're all blank. So all of these, <laughs> all of these are different. Uh, they're only blank on the back side. Let me show you these one by one. So since this is a, uh, all, all the proceeds from these are going to go to paying for our floor. And just so that we're open with you, so you, not that you probably most of you care, but our floor is going to cost just under 6000 6, or 7000 I forget. It's either six or 7000 under that. We need to pay thirty five up front, and then another thirty five. What is that? 35 plus 35 seven. is 7 Okay, it's going to cost just under 7000 7, Um Anyways, that's expensive for us. Uh, so we thought, kind of like the Hank Planks, we're gonna do uh, a designated whatever you call it, and we are doing postcards. 
These postcards are not like regular postcards because they don't have the lines on the back. These are kind of like a greet, a greeting card. Sorry, Let me show you. you Since we're doing it for the floor, I wanted to get a little punny with mine. So I'll show you, I'll show you the seven that we got here. So this is a picture of part of our floor. You can kind of see it, it's right there. That is this. And it has a pun on there. There for you when you fall, the floor. Eh? And then on the back you can write your message and send that off in an envelope to whoever. So, there for you when you fall. Okay? There's that one. I tried to make them somewhat uh, interesting and so that you could use them for, uh, you know, an occasion. So, if your friend or family is like, I don't know, in a slump, you can send them this. Then you can write your own message on the back. Then we have this one. You guys know about this. I made a video about this. This is our little rug thing that we painted in the uh, hallway just over over there. <clears throat> okay. Second, and then on the back, the, all the backs look the same except for one. Okay. And the back, if you can see that, it's just the double logo there. Okay. The third one, another pun. This is the floor that we're getting. It looks like this, although the color is off. I just took this picture a while ago when we still had the samples. But it's a mixed species reclaimed floor from an old tobacco uh, factory, drying factory. This one says, I'm floored for you. So if someone is, uh, I don't know, retiring or healing in the hospital. No way, that probably, that would be a get well. Uh, got a promotion. I don't, it doesn't have to be job related, but anyway, I'm floored for you. Um, this is a picture of the actual floor that we're going to get. Uh, this was a picture of the sample that I brought home to show Ashley back in the, when we were shopping around. Then we have some other ones here that are not floor. Cause I mean, don't want to overdo it with the floor. Well, this one says, hello, keep kicking ass with both feet. And then of course on the back, you can write your own message. So that one's kind of interesting. Okay. Then we'll have a spin on what I seem to always say. I don't say this on purpose. I'll figure it out. It just seems to be the proper thing to say at times. So you'll figure it out and then I tr you see the picture there, it's supposed to look like uh, something that you see in a doctor's office where it's got like some sort of inspirational quote. It's just a water drop, but you'll figure it out. And then of course on the back, you have a uh, space to write your own message. And then we have, <laughs> this one is hilariously awesome. Another keep kicking ass with both feet. Uh, one, and then on the bottom it says, unless you're a fish, because fish is disgusting. So, uh, we got, uh, uh, whatever graphic on the front. You mean because they don't have feet? Yeah, they don't have feet. Oh. And then on the back you have room to write your message, of course. So, keep kicking ass with both feet, unless you're a fish. Excellent use of your. Right. Isn't that how you're supposed to say it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then my favorite one, and you guys remember this, probably from the last gift opening. Keep your cheese clean. <laughs> I don't know who, will, like if they sent it to somebody who doesn't watch you, they wouldn't understand. Yeah, no, this one won't make sense, but this is a good one for you guys. Uh, So keep your cheese clean and then on the back you have room to write your own message. Uh, so this one is my favorite. It's got some eggs in there. It's got some stuff. Um, this is not my design. So these ones that have the graphics on them, those are just uh, a template that you could pick from. Uh, but I was intentionally trying to incorporate the cheese thing. So keep your cheese clean. I don't know what you would write as your own message on the back there. Probably something like, uh, hey man, 
Stop doing drugs or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why you would put that in a postcard. Well, I've had family who went to rehab. That's a big accomplishment. Yeah. You know, completing that sort of thing. Yeah. Right? Especially if you're doing hard drugs. And then you send them this. It's lighthearted. But, it, you you know, stop doing drugs. Keep your cheese clean. Is that what that means? Well, when I said it, I actually didn't mean to say it. But it can mean that. <laughs> why not? Um... But yeah, those are those are the seven postcards. Let's see if I can fan this out. There we go. Seven postcards, and we'll be selling these. Uh, they will come with envelopes too, but I mean the envelopes are just plain white, so I didn't feel like I should have to show you those. Uh, you can get the the set of seven for twenty five bucks if you would like, or twenty dollars. No, twenty five bucks. Twenty dollars. Is it 20 or 25? It's 25. Sorry. It's 25. Uh, and then, if you want to pay $20 for them, you will also buy Ashley's set of seven as well. So this is also $25. If you buy both of them, you pay 20 each. Okay? So that'll be $10 off. Ashley's here. Um, this is from pictures from her Instagram, okay? Uh, here we decided to include this one because it looks awesome. That's our garden uh, from last year. This is our chicken coop. And some of you know that the boards that we put on the chicken coop, the, the shiplap there, we actually had planned to use this cedar stuff, the other stuff that we have for our floor, but it's just not gonna work. So we're not gonna do that. But. It's kind of a cool connection, okay? That's one of them. Then here's the morning view from the chicken coop when you're looking east. Obviously, sun rises in the east. Um, okay? And by the way, on the back, you can you have room to write your greeting. Uh, <clears throat> then we have Lola when she was like a few days old. Or a week and a few days. Got Lola. No, she was just a few days. A few days? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have Millie. And then, of course, on the back, you have room to write your message. These ones don't have any sayings on them. Uh, but uh, here's Lemon. And then here's Lola. No, Opal. Oh wait, Opal. Yeah, I don't know why I said Lola. Opal. And then we have the pumpkins and uh, a few squash in there. And then of course on the back, as always, they, you have room to write your own message. So Ashley's set is also 25. Unless you buy both of them and then they're 20. And you can order them by emailing order from Josh at gmail.com. They all come with envelopes, so you can send each of them out to whoever you want. And uh, yeah. If so, someone wanted to get like two packs of yours or two packs of mine, can they also do 20? Yeah, so if you buy two packs of mine or two packs of Ashley, you can still, you just have to buy two sets. You don't have to buy one of each if you don't want. So if you only like Ashley's, you can get those. And uh, yeah, there's a limited amount. So if it's successful, we will order more. If it's not so good, then we won't order more. Or we probably will always have them available, but we'll order more as we need to or whatever. You know what I mean, right? Okay. Thanks, Kimberly. Hope you guys like that. Oh, thanks, Karen Holmstrom. Long time no chat from Surrey, BC. Hello, my neighbor, our neighbors. Um, yeah, so just to sum up that whole thing, or some wrap that up, that's all those proceeds are going to go to paying for this floor. And if no one buys them, we're still going to pay for this floor. It'll just take longer. But if you want to be a part of that, we would love that. Okay, now that I've taken 15 minutes to explain all that, let us... Let us, let 
Us? Sounds like I'm saying lettuce. Cabbage us do this. Thanks, oh, Norma. That was lame. Norma? What did she say? Ah, those are beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna open up some gifts now. Okay, this one here, I picked up from Alex's store. This was a gift from someone who uh, bought from uh, our friend Alex's um, auction. And uh, I already know what it is, but they they bought this for a whole whack load of money to help support Alex, which is really awesome. And then they said, give them to Josh because they didn't actually want them. They wanted me to make something out of them. And there are just three railroad spikes and they have this marking on them. All the railroad spikes that I have, well, some of them do have markings on them, but they're usually not this clear. And they also came with this uh, newspaper clipping. Here, which is, uh, um, okay. I'll get this. I'm not sure why this was in here, but you could buy a railroad spike bottle opener uh, for 20 bucks to for something. I'm not sure why. So maybe these were for that and they just didn't make these into bottle openers yet. You could buy this from Burke's Jewelers, which is still around here in Edmonton. Uh, in fact, they actually just got robbed not too long ago. Um, and then the back is victims of mudslide and then that's it. Okay. So those are those. Thank you. I'm going to be, uh, Saving the, I'm not going to put these with all my other railroad spikes. Believe it or not, I have a shitload of these. Um, but these ones, I'm going to try to make something special out of them. Uh, because you paid a lot. I don't know if you want me to say how much you paid, but you paid a lot. Appreciate that. What's up? You missed a super chat from James. James, thank you for the super chat. Time. I missed that. Sorry. The Soldiers of Kindness Unite. How's everybody? LOL. Oh. Um, Delfina also asked, when will you start selling the postcards? Right now. You can order them starting now. Where did I put that now? Okay, next one is from R. Burns. Wasn't it Ruth? Okay. Imagine this was from Ruth Burns. From somewhere in Alberta. Bluff? Bluff? Bluffton? I don't even know where that is. Bluffton, Alberta. Okay, let me just open this here. What the heck? There we go. Okay. Okay, it says help. Oh, by the way, guys, if you don't want me to write things or read things out loud, make sure that you say that in the first line of your letter. Uh, my wife and I have been enjoying your videos since the Potter's house. Oh, thank you. Your creativity, humor, and respect for, for your art and each other is always enjoyable. S some time ago, you mentioned wanting a wood lathe. That triggered my interest in wood turning. I get my own, I got my own lathe last fall. The egg and the egg cup are for Ashley. Okay. And the... Uh, Carver's mallet is for you. The light colored wood is part of a log my uncle brought back from somewhere he was posted as a RCAF mechanic about seven years ago. The egg is torch diamond willow and the mallet handle is apple wood. Have a happy birthday and a wonderful summer. Robin. Well, thank you. Um, and their Instagram is randomax67. Uh, oh! Okay, I know who this is. He says, personal note on the back, so I won't read that. Uh, okay, let's see. I know who it is. Ooh, that's freaking nice. And by the way, I did get a lathe, actually from the gallery owner. Okay. Okay. This thing. 
It's a wooden egg, a decoy egg, a decoy egg, what do you call it? A fake egg. <laughs> and a holder thing. That's cool. And he turned this on his lathe. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. And then this is a handle for, I don't know what. What did you say? It's so pretty, like that wood. Look how oh, pretty. Oh, it's a mallet. Ah, it's for hitting your. So pretty. Yeah, it is. So this is a mallet for uh, uh, soft blow. Like if I had a chisel, I believe. Perfect. Thank you very much, Robin. I'm gonna put this with my other mallet. I'm actually gonna keep my mallet separate from my. Not separate, but in a different spot than my hammers, um, kind of, because uh, the mallet doesn't fit on there nicely. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, can you put this just to the side there? And this will go over there. Okay, next. We are going to go with this one here. I'm just going to see if this is for you or for me. Ah, this is the one from Kim. Okay. I want to open this so that I can reuse it. The egg is torched in diamond willow. Do we have that type of wood here? Yep. I said I want to open this so I can reuse it. I shredded it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Robin. Oh, cool. This is a native Indian cookbook. Oh, cool. Wild game, fish and wild edibles. 340 recipes from the Lovesick Lake Native Women's Association and other native cooks. I wonder if Indian tacos are in here. What are what? Indian tacos? Indian tacos? They're like, uh, you know, Indian tacos. What do you mean? Great humpback roast. Like, is that whale? Brisket roast. Chuck or brisket roast? Okay, no. Roast duck, mallard bake, geese, baked musculon. I don't know what that is. Casserole of eel. Oh, oh, and this is like plants? Oh, dandelions. Dandelion wine. Is there any other recipes in dandelion? Uh, could be. I don't see any in here. Wait, you can eat? You can eat these? Really? Those are like those cattails or whatever? Yeah. Fiddleheads? What? That's a fiddlehead? Okay, I thought that was a cattail. Okay. Oh, cattail on the cob. Cattail pastries. Has anyone here ever, like, just taken one of these and treated it like a corn dog and tried to eat that? Have you? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> did, did it at the lake. Back when I was a kid. Thank you very much, Kim. Appreciate that. We'll have to try some of those. Next um, one is... I think you missed a super chat from James Lenzema again. Oh. He sent another one. Soldiers of Kindness Unite Help the Homeless. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This next one is from... Amazon. Okay, there's probably no in it. No, I've never cooked wild game before. Stephanie. She's never even had it. Mm. Or maybe you have had it. I've had like deer before or like was oh, okay. it moose sausage or something like that. There's bear in here. I don't really like bears. Or I didn't like the bear that I had. Rabbit tacos. Wrap a taco. Okay. So let's keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Roast groundhog. Okay. Wishing you a very happy birthday, Josh, from Tip Bing Bong. Tip Bing Bong. Are you on here right now? I wonder what that name means. Tip Bing Bong. Is that your real name? That sounds like almost like it could be like a Tip Bing Bong. That's like a bowling team or something. No, that's not punny. Tipping bong. 
That's like, oh, you guys probably gather and go uh, play Ding Dong Ditch. Or Nicky Nicky Nine Doors, depending on where you are. What it's called. Okay. They wrapped us like a bunch of times. Amazon did. Uh, what? I have no idea what the heck this is. Okay, it's a tin. Oh, it's a gift card. I think. Ah, yes, it is a gift card. Okay. To Amazon. Gift card to Amazon. We use Amazon somewhat re regularly. Sort of. Uh, wishing you a very happy birthday, Josh, from Tip Bing Bong. Uh, that's $100. Holy crap. Thank you very much. That will be helpful. Thank you very much. Tip Bing Bong. <laughs> That's a perfect name to say over and over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, actually, let me keep the one there. I'll put the letter. I'll put the letter in the. Uh, I'll put the letter in the in the binder. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next, we have... Do you want me to put some of that over here? Yeah, sure. Here, take the melon. Yeah. And take this. Okay. Next, let's do this one next, because it's going to fall over. This one is from Miss B. Is this from Ross? Ross? Yeah, from when he was a little kid. Remember, he, he's, uh... You made us call you B? Remember, Ross, when he was a little kid, he used to dress up as a grandma. It was only in one episode, it was a little joke. And he forgot. Miss B. I don't remember that. Okay, there we go, there we go. Customized for Joshua Alexander. Shall I open the envelope first? Yeah, I feel like you should. Okay, let's open up that first. Oh, that's a cool envelope. Card? Card. An envelope. The envelope's not that cool, it's pretty plain, but, you know. It says, hello Josh, I, did, I discovered you through the Potter series. Potter's House series, and I've been a fan of your content since then. Your creativity, multifaceted talent, and ability to turn ideas into reality are impressive. Thanks for the entertaining content. Uh, what you create by repurposing knives, forks, and spoons is awesome. You came to mind when I saw the sign. Maybe you can find a spot for it in your shop. If not, I have no doubt you can find some other use for it. Keep kicking, Miss B. Thank you, Miss B. Let's see what this is. Oh, sorry. She came across this sign. Highly unlikely that she just happened to... Highly unlikely that she just happened to... across this because it says <laughs> Bushy Tat Maker. That's so nice. She's like, wait a minute, I think Josh might like that. It has his name on it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, maybe she means that she came across the, the fork, knife, and spoon. I'll put this in the, uh, in the welding area. Thank you very much. Who was this again? Miss B. Do you guys see that? Let me get out of there so you can kind of see that. Very interesting. Okay, I'll stick that over here. You want to put that on the back? Sorry, yeah. Counter there, perfect. And then we'll put, put that with the other ones. Yeah, perfect. Okay, next one here. It either sounds broken or cutlery or color or a dog toy. This is from Tracy D. 
Okay, let's see here. I tape this more than I tape mine. I just saw her today. That's not Tracy. That's, uh, I forget. She's French, though. She might be watching this. Sorry, I forget your name. But I remember Vlad. Now I'm embarrassed. Uh, she says, Hi, Josh and Ashley. Wishing you a happy birthday month, Josh. I'm sending along a couple chicken-related things for you. The first one is another xylophone. Uh... Oh, she sent the other one, I think. What happened was Amazon gave me a non-deliverable message about the first one, so I ordered a second one, and then the first one showed up anyway. I thought since there are some new chickies, maybe you could use a second one so they don't have to crowd all around one. I saw people online suggesting that if the xylophone was flat on the ground, then the chickens might peck down onto it rather than up on the wall. I have no idea. Maybe the new little ones use it from the older ones. Older gals. See, they don't peck at it either way. We should try giving it to the chicks though. Yeah, we'll put this one in the chick thing. Which we actually planned on putting another one in there. I just hadn't taken it out of the out of the coop yet. So for sure we're gonna do that. Thank you very much, uh, Tracy. Okay, then she says the other thing is a tambourine. The tambourine that I thought the girls might enjoy. Maybe it will be an easier way for them to make some music. <laughs> it's got a freaking chick on it. My daughter is starting up an Etsy store for her artwork as well as doing a vlogging channel. She is the artistic one in the family, so I had her decorate the tambourine for the girls. She says she's just fine with that artwork being pecked. We hope they will be attracted to the sunflower seeds. Oh, grew. that's so cute. Oh, they are sunflower seeds. Very cute. <laughs> if you happen to be interested in her vlogs or channels, you can find her here. Where? Uh, I'm sure she'd love a few new subscribers or extra views, and I'm probably biased because I'm her mom, but I think she's done an excellent job on her videos so far. And then she provides her Instagram. Her Instagram is underscore, maybe underscore Katie. I, with an IE. Uh, is Lindsay still here? I can, if you show me, I can check. Yeah, and then the YouTube is maybe Katie Vlogs, IE and Katie. And finally, I just wanted to send you another Oilers mask. I tweaked this pattern a little bit, so hopefully this one will fit better than the other one, which I can see gaps, which I can see gaps a little. Wishing both of you a happy spring and very happy birthday to you, Josh. Oh, maybe Katie's here right now. She said, that's my, it's my chicken. Thanks for the shout out. Oh, go click on her name. So we can put this in the chicken coop. If they don't use it... Oh no, it's wrecked a little bit. The male was a little harsh on it, but the chickens will be a, lo a lot more harsh on it. They're probably going to do this quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. And then she sent another, another mask. You guys remember the other one? I wear it sometimes. Well, I rotate through them. Oh, this one fits way better. Maybe the the things are just tighter on your ears. Maybe you need to just adjust adjust the other one. No, I, I try. Oh, you try? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. You can post. Well, her. thanks, Tracy. Thank you very much, and uh, and Katie. Okay. The next one, 
is from National Stained Glass. What? The Stained Glass? Oh, that's like a company, maybe? I don't know who this is. Okay, Nash. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Okay. We have a letter. Ah, there was a letter. Oh, this is from Diane. In Portugal? Josh, this is what we use in stained glass work. It will work on adhering copper to tin or lead. Just use a brush to put a bit of flux on there. Oh! So if you guys watched my vlog where I, uh... Where I, uh... Built the gate. I was trying to... First, I did include this. But I tried to braise it on. And I couldn't get the copper to stick to the steel. Um... Had a lot of suggestions. What is this? Oh, this is a newsletter. Stained glass news. Okay. So she thinks perhaps. What is the licorice for? Is that related? I think it's just, just a treat for you. What if it's not? Is this to eat or is this to? <laughs> I don't think it's part of it. The... And then, yeah. So this is in stained glass, which stained glass is lead? What did she say in her letter? To tin or lead. Yeah. So lead is a lot different than, than steel. Um, but if copper can go to tin, I would say tin is closer to steel than, than lead. What the heck are these for? Are these for eating? Yeah. Because I want to eat it. Eat it. But if it's somehow for this, if there's some weird process in which you... Uh, I don't think so, Josh. What if it is? I think it's for eating. Is she here? <laughs> I think you can eat it. I don't know. Oops, why did I do that? She's probably not here. Who is this again? Diane. Diane the stained glasser. Stained glasser? Is that how you call it? I don't I don't know if that's how you Eat the Twizzler, says Tracy. <laughs> Open that aside, Nancy right? said, for your snack drawer? I don't think it's going to make it to the snack drawer. Kimberly said, paranoid much? It's candy. Eat it. But what if it's like, well, I can always get more Twizzlers. But this might be Portugal Twizzlers. <laughs> the secret of welding. Twizzlers. This came from Portugal? The person's from Portugal. I don't know where that, like, that's what the billing information says. Go to Portugal. Do you guys want to know her exact address? No. Uh, oh, Nova Scotia. This thing's from Nova Scotia. This, uh... Okay, I don't know where National guy. Stained Glass is. But... Does she make stained glass? She must. Otherwise, how the heck would she know? What's so cool? I'm gonna tell you guys something. We, uh... A lot of companies enclose Twizzlers. Enclosed treats. Maybe you have to use Portuguese Twizzlers to complete the welding project. <laughs> okay, I can't freaking open this. There we go. Um, I passed on a whole bunch of stained glass tools a while back. Maybe four, four years ago. I thought, nah, I'll never do stained glass. And the amount of times that people have asked me to incorporate stained glass in some of the things I've built for them, it's crazy. Because I'm like, damn it, like I don't know how to do it. I imagine I could easily make something cool. I would just have to practice how to do the actual uh, discipline of stained glass. But since I didn't get those tools, I've never tried it. And I wish I did. If you guys hear me refer to the old man down the street, that just means anyone who gives me stuff. Like if I say, oh, I got this from the old man down the street, it's you. And here's some flux. Um, 
I'm just talking about anyone who gives me stuff. But that started from the old man literally down the street. He was having a garage sale, and then he told me that he wished he was my I was his grandson, and then just gave me a whole bunch of stuff for free. I paid for some stuff, and then he was like, you can have this, you can have this. He even was hoping that he wouldn't, that he, he, he had this bandsaw, this nice old beaver bandsaw. And he told me he wished he didn't, he, he wished that he didn't sell, how do you say that? Wished he didn't sell it? Hadn't has sold it uh, to the guy who bought it, because he wanted to give it to me, but. Someone, someone bought it from his wife or whoever it was. And he was like, dang it, I was going to give that to Josh. Which was very nice. Thank you, old man down the street. I never learned his name, but he was cool. And I think either his brother or someone else is a customer of Alex's. Because he recognized me. All right. And I recognized him at the same time. And I was like, are you, did you... Did you just have a garage sale? And he's like, are you Josh? I'm like, yeah, you did have a garage sale. All right. Next one here. So it's for Josh. Wait, what? Oh, they sent it to Curiosity Inc. Oh, this is the one I picked up from there, okay. Doesn't say who it's from. Zenobia. I was going to help her move a piano today. Actually, I was going to help her yesterday, but no one showed up at the house. I was there by myself and I was just like, <sighs> just like that. Then I left because no one was there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to help her move a piano in the next coming days. I hurt my back and so I didn't want to move a piano today. Okay, this says for Josh. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> for Josh. For Josh, because of your Instagram post on March 26th. De la part de Patricia Magog. QC. Tongue sticking out emoji. Or a kiss emoji. Can't really tell. Can you guys see that? Delfina. Yes. Yes. It's it's out. It's gone. The date, I actually sent it before you even said it was cool. I can uh, send you the tracking number, Delfina, because they gave one for that one. What the heck? How do you open this? Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't remember what I posted on that. Oh, is this a shirt? I feel like it's a shirt. Because of your Instagram post on March 26th. What did I post? I wonder if I will remember. Let me see here. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Sawdust is man glitter. All right. Let's see. Oh, my back. My back. My back. I've never, I've never, uh, I don't know if I've ever called it man glitter, so. Oh, no, that, that was the poster you were covering, remember? You're all dirty. Remember that post? No, I don't. Yeah. This shirt per fits perfect. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, whoever you were. Oh, right. You James, said your name. James sent you two super dots for a dollar each. Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Who? James. Again? Yeah. He's just trying to get them super chats in there. Thank you. Patricia. Patricia Baruby. 
from Quebec. Ah, that's what it was. <laughs> I don't remember what the heck my post was. Yeah, you do. I'll show you. No, I don't. Honest. Do you guys hear Tina drinking? Bayer back and body aspirin. Oh! This picture, is that? March 26th, okay. It's not sawdust, but dust nonetheless. That was a taping, mudding, yeah. Did a light, light sand. Got some uh, mud in the eye. It's a good day. Okay. Do you want this one? You can have it if you want. Do you want it though? No, it's okay. Come on. Okay, let's open up the next one here. I just gotta say again, thank you very. Ls Ls Ls. Thank you, Ellis. I have to say again. <laughs> there we go. But I really appreciate you guys sending stuff. I never expected this would be a thing I would do. Or get the opportunity to do. But yeah, that's all. Come on, you freaking rapper. Do I to help you? I got more nails. Got it. <laughs> okay. Do you need more? Yeah, I do. Water or milk? No, please. Okay. Ashley's been grabbing me some more milk, you know? What? Oh, regular. This is from Amazon again. I feel like they probably opened this and then reclosed it. Maybe it's, they just used the box. I don't think so. Because it says it's from Amazon on the actual thing. Sometimes customs will open a package. I'm not sure if they did or not. Or maybe they just severely mangled this for fun. <laughs> This is awesome. Is it okay? Good. Okay. Well, this don't say anything. Ah, oh, here we go. Josh. Packages may split, so I'm writing on each one. Waiting to see your next masterpiece. I didn't get any artistic talent. It went to my sister's. Barely draw stick figure. Item two of three from Chris. Well, thank you, Chris, for the uh, posable freaking Archie. <laughs> this is so cool. This is probably going to go in the Just Joshing with Dakota studio space or in in my uh in the studio somewhere chris is here chris my man thank you very much he said item two of three so here's another amazon oh this one's for you do you want to open are amazon ones. okay do you want to open this sure ash is going to open one off camera it feels like a book While she's doing that, I'll open up another Amazon one here. Or is this Amazon? Yeah. Maybe this is from Chris. Oh! Um. Oh, there's a... No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, from Cindy. She sent an email about it. Thank you so much, Cindy. The Overstory, a novel by Richard Powers. What is this about? 
I'm this, actually not 100% sure, but it had like... Oh, it doesn't even have a thing on the back. Amazing reviews. Has the reviews on the back. So, do sometimes they, they not put uh, a summary on the back? They just put all these reviews? Um, sometimes it's in the front. No, there's just more reviews in the front. This must be a really good book. And then the the first page, the actual page, like look, here's the opening page, reviews. And then the first page here, it says further praise. Further praise, so it's even better than you think. It was winner of a Pulitzer Prize. I don't know. Says. Look at this. More. Okay, and then here's the actual novel. Has anyone here read this book? The Overstory, a novel. Printed on 100% recycled paper. Nice. Okay, you just have to just jump right in. It doesn't matter what it's about. You're gonna like it, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, while she was opening up that, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the... <laughs> Josh, I... <laughs> Josh, I hope the size is correct. If not, I can send you a large. This is my offbeat sense of humor with presents. Your blogs and live feeds are great. Always amazed. What are you doing, man? Always amazed at your talent. Item one of three from Chris. Can you guys guess what this is? Oh, frick, this is so fun. Let me just open this up for you. Need a hint? I'm not giving you a hint. That's, that's the hint. Frick, this is so funny. <laughs> I love this. Are you gonna show it? Yeah, a, a cap, safety glasses, Archie something. Dude, this guy got me some underwear. <laughs> He's like, you know what? This guy might like Archie more than we think. <laughs> We're gonna give him something for his nuts. Dude, this is freaking so funny. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of different, like, comic uh, book covers. Chris says, I'm glad you're laughing. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. <laughs> the underwear I'm wearing right now have bananas on them. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's another Amazon one. That might be from him, too. Let me pick that up. Okay, let's see if this is it from Chris. Josh, here's the last one. Ah, that was a good guess because there's another Amazon one here. I hope this will help you with your work. Keep up all your great work. I can't wait to see if any of your roof plants made it. Item three of three from Chris. Chris, you champion, what is this? Oh, magnetic wristband. I actually do have one of these. I never use it. However, maybe I will. Maybe I will now. What I would probably do actually is put this on my apron that I never wear either. <laughs> these would definitely be, be handy. Built-in, super powerful magnets, embedded with super strong magnets. Okay. Uh, provides a third helping hand. Okay. So. Oh, and it has pockets in it too. Or a pocket. What? Hold on a second. 
Kathleen says, I noticed you didn't strip down to try the underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you do this? Okay, I'm imagining it's like this. Okay, whose wrists are these for? Someone with massive arms. Um, Chris said that he sent Austin the same thing, and Austin did like a review. Yeah, look at that. I could do a, if someone was throwing a knife at me. <laughs> Hold on. Here, throw this at me. No, I'm not throwing it. Just throw it at me. I'm not throwing it at me. I'm not throwing it at me. Okay, toss it at me. I'm not tossing it at me. Okay, toss it to right here. Josh! You have to! No! Throw it. Toss it up in the air. Okay, but... There's nothing there. No one's there. Where's Tina? Tina is... Right there. All good. Toss it, but you gotta throw it further than it's gonna go. <laughs> okay, throw the fork then. I don't like this. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, it didn't work. But notice it didn't stab me. That's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> that would have worked. I think this is a ninja thing. <laughs> what? Oh, you could have grabbed like a spoon or something. No, you could have grabbed a spoon. <laughs> I don't really have the biggest biceps, but I feel like this this was to go up here. Right? Oh, yeah, maybe it's not a wrist. No, it says Oh, it says a wrist sign. It says a wrist. But like, for like the rock's wrist. Like, whose wrist is this big? Can't you make it small? Yeah. Okay, throw this again. I'm not- It's th I'm, tighter now. I'm getting a spoon. Okay. Supposed to throw it at me, Ash. Like I'm supposed to block it. What is this? Amateur hour? <laughs> what kind of villain are you? Okay, go. Ah, didn't work. <laughs> that. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, throw it harder. Not too. Not like that. What are you insane? What do you want from me? Okay, throw this. Throw this. I'm not. What? It's bigger. Okay, go. Oh. Oh. Hey, good touch. <laughs> Almost got Hank right in the face. <laughs> okay, here, just toss it back. I'll, uh. Oh, it's not even magnetic. <laughs> not the. It's, duh, it's not gonna be made out of steel. What about this? Ah, that would have worked. Okay. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not gonna use this, but when I, when I, uh, when I, uh, there'll be a, there'll come a time where I'll be glad that I have this. And I will be, this is way better than the one I have. The one I have is just like a little small thing. But there will come a time where I'm going to be super glad that I have this. And I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to go get the, the ninja thing. So thank you very much, Chris, for this, 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 you know? Maybe I'll keep these in my car in case I get in an accident. <laughs> so, you know? <laughs> okay. What? They always say... You had an on, accident or put, get in an accident? Get in an accident. What did I say? Get in an accident. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have this one from Robert. Wait, is this for me? <laughs> Smurf M says try throwing that heavy German pan. <laughs> <laughs> We've been using that heavy German prison pan. Come on. 
Can I read what this was by accident? Oh, come on. I always mean to get a better knife. There we go, there we go. Mrs. Last Lock sent you a super chat. If you see it on there. I can't see it. Five dollars. She said, this is for the last during the knife pass. Oh, th <laughs> thank you. And you're welcome. Okay. This is from Robert. Roberto. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! A box of boxes. Okay. Okay. How do you open this? Oh, there we go. Come on. What the heck? There we go. Yo! We got Betty, Betty Cooper. What is Betty short for again? Uh, Victoria? What is Betty short for? Elizabeth. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I think I don't understand right. <laughs> what is Veronica short for? These are freaking awesome. Were you talking with Chris? You were like, hey Chris, you get him the underwear. I'll get him the I'll get him the Funko Pops. Yeah. Jughead, he's got a freaking burger. Burger. Burger and soda. A Pop Tates burger. Okay. Box of strange. And then, I'm imagining this is Archie, the most famous ginger of all. Dude, these are sick. I'm putting these uh, in the in the studio for sure. I'm gonna put them on the shelf there. With the comics? Yeah, with the comics, yeah. Thank you very much, Robert. I love them. Thank you for thinking of me when you were probably staying up at night scrolling. And you're like, you know what? Josh might like these. <laughs> Those are awesome. Okay. Moving on. Dang, those are cool. I wonder how many other characters there are. In the Archie franchise. We're missing Reggie as one of the main regulars. But we got like the best friends here, right? We got Archie and Jughead and Betty and Veronica. And then you have the love triangle. All right, we got the love triangle. We got the boyfriend and girlfriend. We got the other boyfriend and girlfriend. We got the best friends. And we got the best friends. And uh, also he is a loner at times, because he doesn't like girls. Uh, and then Archie, yeah, sick. I wonder if they have like, uh, if they have Reggie, I'm, they probably have Moose. Do they have Big Ethel? And Midge? Moose's girlfriend? Who else is there? Josie and the Pussycats? Okay, this one is from, doesn't say, Singapore. This is another Singapore. Singapore from Vi. All right, let's see what this is. Wow, that is sticky. Wow, they make the envelopes a lot stickier in Singapore. This is probably, look at this, guys. Who's your name? Wow. That is stuck.
What is this? It's so that you can learn to speak Indonesian. Is that what their language is called? In Singapore? No, that's in Indonesia. Oh, right. Okay. Maybe it will make more sense later. Is there a note? Is there something else that this comes with? I don't understand this. This is like a learn how to speak. My house. Romasea. Yeah, I don't know if this is... What time is it? Jam Barappa. How many hours? Barappa Jam. Ah, oh, you say it backwards. What day is it now? Hari Appa Sekarang. Okay. I, am I, are you sending us there or something? Are there like plane tickets in the next package? Okay, where's the, am I missing something here? Are you sending us a note or something? Hold on, there might be a note. Of course it's the furthest one away. Oh, my back. No, there's no no. Did you one day say that you wanted to learn Indonesian? I don't know. Maybe I did. I I am sorry. I don't know what what this is for. But I guess I could learn on my spare time. Maybe. Yeah, those are the chicks cheeping. In Malaysia, English is spoken fairly widely. At the same time, Indonesian and Malay are in fact regional variations of the same language. So why not kill the proverbial two birds? And making use of your Malay in Malaysia will make your visit there infinitely more rewarding. So the book itself is written with Indonesia and Bahasa Indonesia in mind. Okay. Okay, I'm very confused, but I do appreciate this. All right. <laughs> okay. This sounds like cutlery. Can always use more cutlery. This is from Annette. And Nancy says the book goes with the Twizzlers. <laughs> Josh and Ashley, thank you for having such a positive channel. Annette. It's got a little chicken there. A little, uh, what is that, like a Rhode Island red? That yeah. might be a red leg horn. Maybe, I'm not sure. That might be a red or brown leg horn. Okay, oh, she sent keys. Can always use more keys. Thanks, Agnes. Oh, look at this one. This one has a peach on it. Ooh, and look at this one. It also has a peach on it. Oh, and look at this one. It was for a car. Oh, and look at this one. It was probably for the same car. Because I don't know if you guys are old enough to know this, but back in my day, you used to have one key for the, the doors and one key for the ignition. But these both look identical, so... This one is worn out. So then they got this one. I don't know. I don't have no idea. Oh, and look at this one! This one's for the master. Oh, and look at this one! This one's for the other master. Oh, and look at this one. This one was for Slage. 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 So was this one. It seems like they got a lot of doubles. Oh, that's a triple, actually. Are any of these two, uh... Quick set. Are any of these two something that's, you know... What if people were sending me stuff to, like, riches? And I'm like, ah, I'll throw these in with all my other keys. And they're like... 
in the next package that they send in the next gift opening. By the way, those keys I sent you are actually to uh, King Tut's tomb. And then I'll be like, Frank, which key was it? <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's for you. Like you seem loopy. I seem loopy? Yeah. From Annette Mrs. says we carried those around for you. Well, I appreciate it. From Miss Betty Garrett. Betty Garrett. Oh, what is that? Oh, wait. There's somebody else on here. Is that a pencil? Maybe that's for you. Oh, the contractor's pencil. Leave your mark. I think I'm wearing a pencil holder today. Oh, she sent a card. It says Josh and Ash. Ash. Wishing that unexpected pleasures will come your way, leaving a glow of happiness in your heart. With warm thoughts of you, Betty and... Oh, Pippa. Boston Terrier. Oh. <laughs> That's a cute name. Hope this finds you well. Saw this book and thought of you, Ashley. Let's see this book. It looks like a diary almost. The Chicken Keeper's Journal. An illustrated register for your chicken keeping adventures. Did oh my goodness. Lindsay send you? One she of sent those? me a garden one. Oh, you got a garden one and a chicken this one. This is so cute. Oh, look at it. It has pictures on the side too. Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. Check this out, guys. Oh, are those all the different types of chickens? No, it's just a re repeating. The best chickens for your backyard. Before adding any bird to your flock, ask yourself, why are you raising chickens? For eggs? For meat? For pets? Each breed was developed with a certain purpose in mind. You should also consider where you are raising chickens, both your coop size and your climate. Some chicken breeds adapt better to confinement. Others are strong free rangers. Some are cold hardy, but don't tolerate hot weather well. Others, the reverse. And you should think about personality. Do you hope to have friendly chickens that will follow you through the garden? Cluck talkatively with visitors and play well with children? Or would you rather have guard chickens where they peck at your legs until you want to beat them into submission? Some breeds are more inclined. <laughs> Some breeds are more inclined to interact with their what? caretakers while others are... actually say that? What do you mean? Look. <laughs> while others are considered more aggressive and flighty, those are the ones you want to be. Finally, what do you like? Finally, what do you like? An Australorp. Ooh! That's what this chicken is. This chicken right here? Does that not look like that chicken right there? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Hailing from, a, from Australia, mate. Good night, Allie. Where it has been called the national breed. Nice. You guys get the idea. Barnavelder. Never even heard of that one. Okay, for a second I thought that looked kind of like... Henrietta, but it actually looks nothing like Henrietta. Okay, anyways, you guys get it. That's cool. Who is this from? Betty. Betty. Thanks, Betty. Thank you so much. There you go. Oh, thank you. We got one more left, guys. This is from Amazon. I was confused for a second. Oh, they didn't leave a note? Hold on a second. They didn't send a note. What is it? They didn't send a note. But, this is something that we've been thinking about making for a long time and just never have. Now, I guess we don't have to make Who's it. Who's it from? I don't know. It doesn't say? It's from Amazon. This is 
So I'm trying to keep it out of view so I can be like, tra la la Captain Underpants. Okay. I'm so confused. Oh! It's a chicken swing. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. And it comes with the... Uh, uh, like, chain to hang it up. We can hang it on one of those, um, chicken yeah. tree perches. Nice! Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much to whoever sent that. Yeah, whoever sent this, you didn't leave a note, or I accidentally didn't see the note. Oh, it's got cat toys on it. To be interesting, I guess. Sick! Thank you! Like wood? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm not sure what- I thought the... it was like plastic that just looks like wood, but- No, it's actual wood. It's got like some sort of weird growth on it. On the bark. I don't know what kind this is. Maybe it's that here. Natural it's from wood- me. Kathy Kellerman sent it. Kathy. Thank you, thank Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Uh... This was $197. I'm just kidding. I was like, really? <laughs> no, that would be insane. Uh, it doesn't say what kind of wood it is. I thought maybe it would. But it's for a large bird parrot macaw. It says, Merly pet chicken swing toys with natural wooden for hens large bird parrot macaw training. I can totally see like nugget and plum going on there. Plum? I was just gonna say plum. Yeah. She'll totally go on there. Okay, th I think that's it. Let me just double check that there's nothing left here. I know someone messaged yesterday or commented or something like that and said that they sent something that is gonna be here later. I'll just save anything from now on until we have it enough to open up in another one. But I just want to say thank you. Oh, he's bendable. Yeah. Well, ain't that something? Okay, well, he's bendable, but. Oh, okay, he stays. Oh, he has a. What? He's wearing bell bottoms. He must be from the 70s or the early 2000s. Or maybe those are like boot cut actually. That's more boot cut than bell bottom. Look at those sneakers. What is, who is this guy? <laughs> okay. Guys. Oh, you can't even see that. Hold on. Thank you very... Thank you very much for for sending us all these gifts. Really appreciate it. Gonna put most of these things to use and then some things to, you know, just to enjoy on the shelf or whatever. But thank you very much. We really, really appreciate it. We, uh, we consider ourselves lucky for this. For this? Because of this? Whatever it is. Um, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I just said that, but I just had to say it again. If you guys are interested, what a clunky segue. Where are those things? Yeah. Perfect. If you guys were here in the beginning, you've already heard this. What flavor is that Twizzler behind your ear? <laughs> Sawdust flavor. If you guys were here at the beginning, you already heard this, but I'm going to repeat it one more time for those who have just joined or joined late. This floor right here, we're going to get a new floor this summer if it all goes well. Depends. Have to get new tires. That's a bummer. I shouldn't have said that because that's going to make it sound... Start over. If you guys were here in the beginning, you already heard this, but if you just got here or just joined late, you missed it. This floor right here, we're going to get a new floor this year. And uh, if you would like to help with that, we are doing a new product release. Merch? New merch in the form of 
postcards and these were requested numerous times and I said that I would never put my art on postcards because or maybe in the future I would when that kind of stuff wouldn't affect the value of the paintings or whatever but for now we are going to release a different type of postcard and these ones are as such um, since they are going to benefit the floor fund or whatever they are uh, floor puns uh, now this is a picture of my crappy floor. See this right here? That's this. There for you when you fall. So you can send this off to a person who is, you know, feeling crappy or whatever. You can write your personal message on the back there. Put that in an envelope. They will come with envelopes. Um, comes in a pack of seven. That's number one. Then here's another floor related one. That's the, uh, the rug that we painted in our hallway over there. Uh, and then on the back, of course, it's blank again. And then we have another floor one here. And this is the floor that we're going to be getting. Uh, it's a mixed species floor. It's got some oak, got some alder, got some elm, um, chestnut, and all sorts of different things. It's actually reclaimed from a tobacco factory. And it says, I'm floored for you. So if someone's, you know, did something awesome or maybe bought a new car or something you can like write your message on the back there throw it in the provided envelope mail it off to your friendly neighborhood car owner and say congratulations <laughs> i'm floored for you <laughs> just send it to anyone who owns a car just order a lot of them so because you might know a lot of people who have cars <laughs> so I'm like what the heck i'm floored for you and then on the back you just write <laughs> They're like, they like read it. They're like, what? I'm floored for you? Why? You have a car! Put under <laughs> everyone's wiper blades. It's like, ah, oh, so annoying, all these flyers. And then we have ones that are for the floor, but are not floor related. Hello, keep kicking ass with both feet. Uh, and then the back is blank. For your message to whoever you want to send that to. That one is more uh, so for someone who's like, I don't know, you could send that to a person who just got into, uh, I don't know, got a scholarship thing or like got a black belt in some sort of martial arts. I don't know. Keep kicking out the little speed. You'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll figure it out. This one is like, because I always say I'll figure it out, which is just something that I just happened to just say all the time didn't realize I said that all the time until I saw people put it in the comments all the time but now you can say that to someone else instead of saying it would be I was gonna make it say I'll figure it out but why would you send that to someone where you're just like you send someone a card where it says <laughs> I'll figure it out <laughs> like <laughs> just like okay and on the back it says don't worry about a thing leave it up to me oh, I guess it could work but you'll figure it out, and then on the back, you could write, get your shit together or something. I don't know. And then, we got another one. Keep kicking ass with both feet, unless you're a fish. And then on the back, it's blank again. And you can write your message. And say, hey, you're not a fish. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then my personal favorite... Some of you will get this, some of you uh, might have missed that video, but keep your cheese clean. This one is for, uh, I don't know why you would send this to someone, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just had a baby and, uh, you know, it could mean it's all sorts of things if you use your imagination. And then on the back it's blank, of course. Um, on the front, it's got a tomato, some, what is that, celery? I think that's celery. Cheese, eggs, and a sunflower. It's all perfect. Lindsay knows what I'm talking about. I'm, I send her cheese all the time. And then, if you don't like any of those, or you need seven more, Ashley also has a set. Hold on, let me put these in order. I guess the order isn't super important. Come on, come on, come on. We have 
if you put some of her photos, some of the ones that you guys liked on her Instagram, she put those in, into a postcard form. And these ones don't say anything. Um, so you can just put your own message on the back. Uh, they're all blank. But this is our chicken coop, of course. And some of you know that the wood that we use for the siding on the chicken coop, we were actually going to use for the floor in here. Um, but it's actually not going to process well. It's going to be too narrow for what uh, we like. We kind of like a wider plank or a mixed uh, width plank, which is what we're going to get. A mixed width and length and mixed species plank. Um, but we were going to use that cedar and then we decided not to. Instead, we'll use that elsewhere. We actually have a few projects planned that will be coming up in another vlog. But there's that one. And then the view in the morning uh, from the coop, that's the sunrise in the fall, I believe it was, right? Probably the fall. There's no leaves on the tree, or it could have even been in the winter. And then we have Lola, the showgirl chick. And again, the, the backs are all blank. You can write your message to whoever, whoever or you can just keep them if you want them. We got... Really? What is that? What? No, it's just feathers. That's just feathers? I think so. Unless you like took a dump. <laughs> Mint picture? And... No, I think it's feathers. <laughs> okay, we got <laughs> Millie or Willie, but probably Millie here. We have Lemon. This is when she was like quintessential chick. You guys will see in the next uh, chick vid chick cam video where she's growing some feathers. And then of course the back is blank so you can write your message on there. Then we have Opal. Of course if you guys follow Ashley on Instagram you've seen these. Is that a gray shed planter with Lola? It is not, but we do have one from her. Uh, and then the last one in Ashley's pack here are the pumpkins and uh, squash in the potting shed. I didn't know this was called a potting shed when I made it, but I guess that makes sense. So each pack comes with seven. They are $25 each, unless you buy both of them or just two of the same one, whatever, then they are $20. Okay, so 40 for two or 50 for one, no. How do you say that? <laughs> 40 for two or 25 for one. Or 25 for one. There we go. And uh, they come all come with envelopes. So they won't just be this. They'll come with envelopes in an envelope. Ship anywhere on the planet. Uh, you can... Thank you, Lindsay. Order from Josh at gmail.com is the email. You can do it. And we are selling these immediately if you would like to help support uh, getting a real floor in here. Uh, we didn't want to do like a GoFundMe or anything like that. I was suggested numerous times, but that's not our style. Uh, we would rather you buy some art or whatever, whatever. That's like what I do for a living, right? So we just work for it kind of thing. But we thought it would be fun to do this as well. Kind of like how we did the Hanks Planks sort of thing last summer, which I made way too cheap and which was totally not worth it. But appreciate everyone who bought one of those. That was awesome. Um, this is kind of the same thing, but it makes more sense and is easier. So thank you everyone for whoever's going to do this. Thank you everyone who sent us all these gifts. Really, really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Yeah, that's it, right? <laughs> oh, and we're having a buy two, get one free sale for April for my birthday. So if you want to do that, my hands gallery. Facebook page has all the things. You don't have to have Facebook to browse Facebook. And then you can email me order from Josh at gmail.com with what you have. Give us your mailing address and your phone number if you're outside of Canada. And we will get you the full price, including your order and shipping to anywhere on the planet except for Antarctica. But if you're in Antarctica, you're probably not going to be worried about art. You're probably going to be worried about how to keep the rest of the world from finding out about the aliens. So thank you everyone so much for the underwear, the uh, uh, tree branch, and you know, all that stuff.
Yolanda says, can you please explain again how you're selling the postcards? Like email. Oh, you can email me, order from josh at gmail.com and just say that you want the postcard pack. Do you want Josh's or do you want Ashley's or do you want both? And then uh, it's just kind of like how you order art. Same way. Josh, is it your birthday? Not today. On the 25th, it's my birthday. So in like five days? On Sunday, yeah. On Sunday? I'll be turning 19. Dang. Okay. So thank you everyone for all of the stuff. I've already said this a billion times, but I just want you guys to know that we really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Don says that Indian cookbook sounds really interesting. Dandelion wine is great. The greens are like lettuce. Ah, oh, your comment disappeared. But yeah, we'll probably check that out uh, one of these days. I'm not much of a cook, but maybe you guys have seen me cook for Ashley when I do those lives. You know, maybe we'll do it then. No, maybe I'll, have to try one of those recipes. I'll pick a random recipe. I'll go out there, pick out some dandelions that Hank accidentally, no, on purpose peed on, but I won't know. <laughs> Just pick those, make a wish, bring them in. Uh, did you just say 19? I did. I was lying, though. All right. I'm actually turning 17. Okay. See you later. You guys are the best.